hit the record and let's fucking go, whore. I want to let you guys know what we do here, and what we do here is we like to take food reviews, we like to mix that shit with movie reviews, because everybody does movie reviews, and everybody does food reviews, but we're the only ones who do movie food reviews. We're pioneers, bitch. Let's Get on board this fucking boat and Actually, let's go. we didn't come up with anything original, we just took two other original things and mixed them together and then called it original. Kind of like what they did with these fucking chips, but I'm excited about it. Kind of like what Mark Zuckerberg did with Facebook. But hey, if whatever. Here is the naked chips, some Taco Bell, suck a dick. I'm not gonna do it. Drop the bag, bitch. There's two of them in here. There's two of them just for just for, for uh, effect. Yeah, for uh, no for uh, I know for us. Full frontal. Full frontal. I want to be honest with you, Mick. Just drop the chips. Yeah. That's a good. What does it look like in there? Fucking Diablo sauce. Oh. Fucking Diablo. You getting fancy? As we can see, we've got the uh, naked chicken. This Hold is. Uh, Hold it still. Hold it still, God damn it! I'm holding it still! That's what she said. So you know that Taco Bell went all out, right? And they got a bunch of Tyson chicken from Kroger, and they made their own naked chicken nuggets. Hey, don't talk bad about Taco Bell. I love Tyson chicken. So, that look, that's what it looks like. It does- Squeeze it, it. it. I want to hear it. Be real quiet and squeeze it. Okay. Eat that was your eat. fucking mouth. I wasn't. Listen. Eat <laughs> <laughs> Do they feel rubbery, or are they crispy? Uh, they're rubbery. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, they're kind of soggy. A little sogginess. They, they didn't have fucking nacho sauce. They didn't have volcano sauce. There's no spicy sauce, the lady said. What? All they have is nacho cheese sauce. And it's nachos! Our parents totally lied to us about everything. Nothing's real anymore. I thought they had volcano sauce. They don't, you fucking... Fuck! So we had so wait, cheese... Say fuck again just like that. Fuck! All right. Fuck! Fuck. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Blue chips, motherfucker! What it look like? Well, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, well, uh, this movie had Nick Nolte in it, J.T. Walsh, Shaquille. Oh, fuck this, dude! You just threw a chip down. Uh, J.T. Walsh, Nick Nolte, Shaquille O'Neal, Anthony Hardaway, Larry Bird. A white farm boy with a basketball. A college basketball coach who is used to winning national titles year in and year out. He has a slumpy kind of year because, you know, he just, he's got a divorce. He's just not doing well. He's not getting that sex. And he's just doing shitty. Seems not very talented. Yeah. And he decides that he wants to break the golden rule or the cardinal rule because he's run a clean program up to this point. And Make he decides to, hey, you know what? The, the way to win is you got to cheat. And that's the way you do it in life. The way you get ahead is you step on a little person's head and you say, fuck you. That's I'm not getting true. ahead. No. Well, you know, Kids, don't listen to this fucking guy with a tie over here. How bad can it get? Just how goddamn bad can it get? Yeah, if uh, you watch college basketball, if you follow college basketball, or even if you don't, it's still a pretty good movie. But this is one of those movies I think it's definitely best watched by someone who enjoys college basketball. Yeah. Like, if you're into that. Because it's a really, really good, deep look inside of the shit that goes on there. And you see all the time these coaches, you know, uh, sanctions, NCAA violations, paying players, shit like that. And this is like a behind-the-scenes look at how, how good programs become crooked, what happens. Fucking directed by William Friedkin, which is weird, because it's a basketball movie directed by the guy who made The Exorcist. And there's certain shots that you can tell it's Friedkin too, man. Like, he sets up these really nice camera shots, and the way that the game works, it's like, in a boxing fight, it's cool to see, like, the actual boxing look good. Yeah. The way he films, like, the actual game action is sweet as fuck, man. It looks great. Uh, Nick Nolte, this is also before Nick Nolte went, you know, hiatus on his acting career. I mean, he's done, you know, he did Warrior, which I thought he deserved an Oscar. That movie was so well done, and, and he was so amazing in that. But Nick Nolte was really a great actor anyway back in this day. And he does this role, this college basketball you know, guy that's stressed out and on the edge because he doesn't know if he wants to cheat, but he knows he wants to win, and he doesn't really know how to handle that. Um, he plays that part really well. And uh, I want to say it sucks that J.T. Walsh is dead because J.T. Walsh is one of the best villains ever. I thought he was James Spader for half yeah, the movie. But he's a great, great villain. Like, <laughs> J.T. Walsh is always cast as those archetypes as that, as that slimy kind of business-like dude that's just got a really, he's got a secret and it's a bad secret. And he wants to, like, take you down to his basement and tickle your butt with a feather. We got hammered the last four games. And it stopped right now. If you keep playing the way you're playing, we're going to get our ass beat again tonight. But uh, when he does sell out, because, you know, again, this Coach Bell, which is the character that he plays, Nick Nolte, 
sells out and does corrupt his program. You can see he struggles with this throughout most of the time that he's doing it, and he doesn't want to because up till that point, he's been running a clean program and winning despite everybody else selling out. By all accounts, he's a good guy. Yeah, man. and once he starts doing that, you know, hookers and cocaine are next, and he just doesn't know how to deal with how to, you know, how to live that life. And J.T. Walsh, again, such a slimy character talking him into it. He's like, you know, and you know, in some way he does have a point though. He says to uh, Coach Bell, he's like, we owe it to these college kids. Because he's like, listen to me, because you get a multi-million dollar contract, you get to go on a TV show, you get all this stuff. He said, what do those kids get? They, they, get to, they be a walking uh, billboard for your program, and they earn the university millions of dollars. And that's a debate that's been going around for fucking decades, whether or not college players should be played. That's right. He would say, they get nothing, man! That yeah. was the worst rocket I've ever done. I don't want to hear it. Nothing, you know? I don't want to hear it. Ah, God damn it, that was terrible. Well, I was going to hold this fucking chip for eight fucking minutes waiting for you to fucking shut the fuck up! You were enraptured by it. I'm ready, you ready? Yeah, you going to put some out. Diablo on that bitch? Nope. Fuck I don't you. want it. Here go. we go. Tyson Chicken. In all fairness, Taco Bell. Uh, uh, I'm not. Um, these have been sitting around for a good 10 minutes or so. Yeah, but they were still soggy to begin with, even when we got them. Uh, there's no Chris. There you go. There's not. Uh, I'm gonna take another bite and see. Okay. I'm using the cheese sauce. Try not. Don't use the cheese sauce. I'm not even playing hot. Okay, wait. No. Huh. Does it taste any different? Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think. Um, I don't. I think I'm gonna. I'm, it's a no for me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's a. It's a no for me, dog. Uh, you know, I was skeptical anyway about a Taco Bell chicken nugget thing. Because it's Taco Bell. I mean, you can't be mixing meats with potatoes. That's what excited me, though. I was like, ooh, a cool menu item from Taco Bell. I can't wait to try it. But I mean, aside from the nacho no, cheese sauce... You can have meat and potatoes. But what I meant to say, you can't be mixing your steak with your... Because you can't eat your meat if you didn't have your pudding. Is there something that steak can't go with? Because steak can go with about anything. Sugar? No, you put sugar on it. We're going down swinging. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You can't mix certain <laughs> things, and what, I just don't... What mm. it is, ultimately, dude, is just a, I didn't think about this before I got it. But it's just a fucking triangle chicken nugget. We are such fucking fools. You gotta run the triangle offense, Tony. You piece of shit. This is the stupidest fucking team I ever fucking coached. That's Nick Nolte. God damn it! Um, and this is why your mother left you in a trash can when you were a baby. Stork! So depressed, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm through fighting, you sons of bitches! You're the dumbest team I ever coached! Uh, it was you and your fucking cop! Uh, okay, so, moving on from that, the other characters, the, the supporting cast in this, are really good. Um, this has got to be the best Shaq performance he's ever done in his life. Shaq was good, man. Even though I love Kazam. <laughs> it was a terrible movie. Shaq never make movies again. But this was badass. Like he did a really good job because basically he was playing himself probably in college. He came out in '94, so he was still fresh in the NBA. And Ed O'Neill is in this. I forgot about Ed O'Neill. Yeah. You know, maybe he plays a reporter. Uh, that marriage, Dutch. But uh, that was a great movie too. But he's in this, and he's the um, investigating reporter that's really digging into this program and trying to find out all these, you know, who the cheaters are. Nick Nolte in this movie, man, just watching him just talk to people and move through his daily motions like my heart hurt like not in like an emotional way yeah. but in like a, I felt like I was gonna have a heart attack because he looked so stressed out all the fucking time he dude he embodied a college basketball coach maybe that better than and he'll never get credit for this maybe better than anybody's ever done on film before and I love the fact about this movie that they make it authentic as shit when you talk about the college basketball game in the NCAA Rick Pitino's coaching a team in there. Bobby Knight. Uh, this is young Rick Pitino. Where Jim he, he, he looks like a gangster, by the way. He's like, why don't you go ahead and run it again? I'm going to need somebody over here. We're going to put him on the four. We're going to put him on the five block. You're going to get down there. When, go, they, when, the, when, when they get on the, the five, man. it goes, just box in three, two, and one. And if they're not, rev it up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking, he's great. It's, it's great. Jim Beheim's in this. A bunch of fucking people. And there's some really bad acting by basketball personalities. Like, we were talking about this. He goes on a recruiting trip, and it's cool because you get to see how these players get recruited. Like it's a really in-depth, authentic look like at uh, at a fictitious story. But it's they, like uh, behind really, the music without the music. Yeah, they did a great <laughs> job. Even at the end of the movie, they even give you an update. And they're like, uh, "I like that." Neons in the NBA. They don't do that anymore. No, they don't do that shit. It's for it's for fictitious players, so uh -huh. I love it. But he uh, he goes on a recruiting trip, and uh, one of the worst acting moments I've ever seen in my life is he he finds Larry Bird, and Larry oh, Bird. Oh God. So he bad. pulls up and Larry Bird's outside his old ass shooting basketball and before he acknowledges him or sees him, Larry goes, No, he says, hi. No, it's, it's funny because you can see how the scene's going to play. He's like, a white boy playing basketball? It can't, can't be. And Larry's already doing this. <laughs> and he's not even looking at Nick Nolte. White 
farm boy with a basketball? Oh, I don't know, son. I don't think you're ever going to make it. Can't run, can't jump, bad back, pathetic. How's it going, Pete? Uh, Shaq did all right. I mean, Shaq's Shaq good, man. Shaq did do all right. The only part I thought that was really disingenuous of him, because you know that motherfucker was bought and by LSU. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know. But the part where he was like, at the end of the movie, when Coach Bell's like, I can't win like this. And Shaq does this dramatic moment, which he was trying to go for the Oscar. He does this head bow thing. He's like, <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> it was so terrible. I was like, don't do that. Don't act like you care. But anyway, uh, overall, the movie is a fucking strong ass movie. I love this movie. I mean, if you're going to name like best sports movies of all time, this would probably be in my top five, man. Maybe top. I mean, maybe top ten. If I'll push it out. There's been a lot of great. I'm right there with you. I think but, top ten for sure. Maybe top five though. It's underrated. It's, as shit. It is. I don't know how. You know, like, and again, having negative scores, I can't get. I don't understand that logic. But either way, uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to give this movie a nine. Like, I'm going to go up to a nine with it. I loved it that much. I can watch this movie several times in a day. Like, I, yeah. it's so good. I mean, you're never going to find out anything. It's not going to be this movie you're going to watch again and be like, oh, I didn't notice this part or that part. But it's just, it's got such strong performances in it and you know what they're going for and they do it in such an understated way. They're like, like look, this shit goes on. This shit really does happen. Yeah. And people are like, oh, it's a movie. They're like, no, this really does happen. You can happen. tell that the people who wrote it and they did, that, that have something to do with college sports. Like, the, there's some there's some shit in here that gets really fine too and uh, like, if this were to happen, it feels realistic. It feels like you're watching a documentary. Yeah. Like, it's, it's legit as shit, man. Imagine, it's really authentic. Imagine, like a squeaky clean coach that has always and always stuck by his morals and values that we were a clean program we've always won in the right way and then finding out that he fucking sold his soul to the devil essentially and bought players I and mean, how devastating that would be for that program and how the devastating that would be for that guy and uh there's one specific I, I mean i didn't like the scene necessarily but i got what they were going for when he goes and confronts one of his older players tony and he says did you take money did you shave points three years ago you know he's like no and he finally admits he's like yeah and he's like so you took the most Precious thing in your life, and you corrupted it for what? And that I can't do it. I can't do it justice. But the way that Nolte delivered it was like, damn. Yeah. I don't even give a fuck. I got a bunch. I'd be like, uh, I don't know what to do. I mean, do I need to like wax your floor? So how can I make this up? Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He but, play, dude. He he embodies what a, what a coach should be on an awesome level. And that the opening scene, guys, is all you have to watch to know whether or not you're into this movie. Yeah. If you watch the first five minutes of this movie and you don't like it, it's not for you because the, it opens up with him going on a fucking rant on his on his players. He comes in at halftime and they're getting their ass kicked. He's like, "You, this is the dumbest fucking team I ever fucking coached." And then he storms out, and the, and the assistant coaches go to start to talk to the players, and then he storms back in again. It's like when your parents are mad at you, but yeah. they're not done, or when you're fighting with your girlfriend, and, and he, you have that moment where either you hang up the phone or you slam the door, and you're like, "No, that wasn't enough. I gotta go back in." He comes back in the locker room and starts screaming. Yeah, he already told them everything they needed to know. He's like, "You guys are you're, you're the most pathetic team I've ever coached in my life." And he slams the door. He comes back. He's like, "Seriously, making what you guys makes me sick." I go home and I don't even want to. Play basketball. I don't even want to watch it. He <laughs> comes back a third time, and this time he, 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 he's like, you can tell he gets pissed at, at his own words because he's like, thank God I only got to watch you guys play for two more fucking goddamn games. And then he goes, God damn it! He picks up the fucking water cooler and slams it on the ground. So if you I watch that an asshole though, I did that guy was sitting there all calm while he was like ranting, like, I thought the game started at one. <laughs> <laughs> it does start at one. And you're like, fucking jackass. I'm like, oh, no, I'm a pitcher. Yeah. So, dude, if you watch that scene and you're not, if you're not entertained by it, it may be a movie that you have to be into sports yeah, to enjoy. Right. Maybe well, even mm -hmm. college basketball to really, truly enjoy. So for that, I'll give it an 8.5. I love the movie. I don't think it really has a lot of problems. It's not, it's not one of those movies that stretches across, you know, being all people. You, I just think you may have to have an interest in college basketball to really enjoy it. And what we're fans, we're Kentucky fans. Yeah. So Cal Parry's been accused of all this shit, which he's fucking innocent for. He's a good goddamn American, goddammit. He's innocent, bro. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I really think he is, though. In all seriousness, I, hope he I is. don't think he's dirty. I don't know. Um, but comment down below. His name's Cal Perry. <laughs> so it's What's fine. your favorite college basketball team if you guys watch college basketball? What do you guys think about UK coach Cal Perry? And what do you guys think about Blue Chips if you've seen it? We need to talk about this. So our oh, yeah. on this spongy piece of shit. It's a fucking two. I'm going to give it a 1.5, dude. It yeah. tastes like shit. I mean, yeah. even drunk. You'd be eating this and be like, I could have gone to Kroger and bought this fucker in the freezer and made a better meal myself. I mean, the only, it's fucking, these are four dollars. Yeah. For the cheese sauce. Yeah. That's, that's the thing, like, it's like 800 calories too, and I think that's just the chips. Don't you know how bad I want to see this team play? I want to see this team play so fucking bad I can taste it. Honest to Christ, you boys, the only joy I have right now is I don't have to watch you guys play two more games. 
That's fucking ridiculous. Like, it's a great idea in theory, but really it's triangle fucking chicken nuggets. Okay, but what if you took this and put it in a burrito? And they're not even good chicken what nuggets. What if you put that in a burrito? You son of a bitches! You don't deserve a locker room! You don't deserve a locker room the way you're playing with here! You should be playing without uniforms! You should be playing in the jock straps! God damn it! That'd be good, yeah, See, sure. they could have thought outside the box. But they're not- they're not even, you know, good chicken nuggets. That's the problem. And the nacho cheese, I mean, if you- I could dip a turd in nacho cheese and it would taste- <laughs> really? it would, You wanna experiment with it that? It would be a better tasting turd. I got five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, no, Taco Bell... Yeah, 1.5. That's I, a failure. Fuck, I love you, Taco Bell, with my whole heart and soul. God damn, I'd marry you if I could. But, um... You know what? We just hit sorry, a plateau here right now. Uh, we've actually never given a, a bad rating on food. This the, tastes like shit. The so, fake-ass chicken looks really good. So, white. guys, this is not, like... It looks good, but it's not. Don't go and waste your money on this. Like, well, I'm gonna throw it I don't know, because you Because I have no standards. You want fucking chicken in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Go to chicken. We love your fucking faces. If new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn chicken up in you. Fucking kidding me. No, Take that chicken and put it up your butt. We watched a movie.